Israeli officials are responding harshly against Iran on Tuesday, following new threats being levied towards the Jewish state and the West. On Monday, Iran celebrated its 40th anniversary since the Islamic Revolution, and as expected, chants, slogans, and banners calling for death to America, death to Britain, and death to Israel made their way through the streets of Tehran. Additionally, military displays including newly developed missiles paraded across the capital. But while these and other threats made at the various rallies in Iran are taken seriously, the most alarming came from IRGC senior commander Brigadier General Yadola Javani, who was quoted saying, quote, The United States does not have the courage to shoot a single bullet at us despite all its defensive and military assets. But if they attack us, we will raise Tel Aviv and Haifa to the ground, end quote. Iranian President Rouhani also boasted that sanctions against the regime will all fail, and that the presence of people at the rallies was a testament to that fact. And at the same time, Iran's Foreign Minister Javad Zarif met in Lebanon with terror group leader Hassan Nasrallah, as well as Prime Minister Hariri and President Aoun in efforts to increase trade and cooperations between their two countries, primarily with military. ما آمادگی داریم چنین همکاری رو بررسی کنیم و در صورت امکانمون چنین همکاری رو ارائه بدیم. These meetings and threats also come just a week after a new Iranian missile factory in Syria was revealed by Israeli reports. According to Channel 12 News, the factory will produce precision missiles for Hezbollah and other Iranian terror proxies, and still, Israeli leaders are remaining firm in that no threat will go unanswered. Prime Minister Netanyahu even responded to Brigadier General Giovanni directly in a video posted to social media. I am not aware of the threats of the Iranian government, but I am also not aware of them. If the government does the threat of the threat and will try to destroy Tel Aviv and Haifa, it will not succeed. But it will be the last day of the threat of the threat that they will destroy. I hope they will take it into account. Then finally, on a related note, according to Syrian state news agency Sana, Israeli tanks struck Syrian territory near Kunetra overnight, causing material damage. Israel, on the other hand, while frequently attacking targets that approach the Israeli border, has not commented on the strike.